Good evening, I'm Joe Netherworld, and I'm here with your daily tarot card reading for Saturday, December 28th, 2013. And um, only a few days left of the, of the year. It's been a strange year. Uh, every month has had a theme. It's been very uh, insistent on maintaining that theme. And December's theme has um, been interesting. It's been on the one hand, telling us, it's very about duality, I think, in December. Enjoy yourself, be carnal, be uh, a little bit lustful, you know, be real to the day, but also make some plans for the future. And one can't be without the other. It's about balance, but a, a forward moving balance. So it's interesting. And I think that that's a good sign that 2014 is gonna be a really busy, really raucous year. Don't mind me as I fix my tie. This, this tie, every day I try and wear a nice tie and suit. And, sit here and this tie has been a little bit cumbersome today. Anyway, don't mind me. I'll keep the cameras rolling, no matter what. But anyway, I'm being a little quiet tonight, I know. Sometimes I have less, I'm less talky than others. Sometimes I gotta actually shuffle the cards too. Anyway, <laughs> well, let's just get in here. Sometimes, you know, this is Saturday, you know, it sometimes, you know, with, with such expectations for weekends and such, um, it's almost like has a negative effect. It creates like a inverse energy. People expect too much. And that's one thing I think we should all really take into consideration for this year is um, the expectations versus realities. And though we can have high expectations and we can have great realities, sometimes we have to keep them a little closer to each other. But uh, enough of that. Uh, maudlin uh, diatrobe. We go into our reading. Our first card is our main card. And our main card is just that. And there'll be two qualifier cards around that main card, and that will show us what this main card's all about. But we have here is the Page of Rods. Page of Rods is a great progress card. Page of Rods, I can't really tell, uh, here we are, is sort of like the fool grown up just a little bit. It's a happy wanderer, but now it's a happy wanderer with a mission. It's sort of like first job energy. It's about getting new jobs. It's about finally deciding to just not just be a a leaf being tossed about in the wind. It's about being a little more like, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna pick my destination. I'm not gonna let my destination be picked for me. Still wandering, still on a path, still happy, still open to divergence, but not controlled by random fate. So that's great. I like seeing the page of rods at the end of the year. Any sort of read, it's it's the next step. Good card. Our other card, qualifier card on the, I guess it'll be the right side, will be the sun. And the sun is a, uh, well, a very strong point to navigate by. It lights your path, it clears uh, away negative energy, it uh, shows things. It also can be blinding and can be, um, give you a false positive sense of things are okay when they're not because you have this sort of um, Pollyanna attitude. A, everything's great, or nothing, nothing bad ever happens and that's not really true. And I'm not trying to instill a sense of paranoia in this, but let's just see what our other card is. And how about you? Oh, okay, and you again, King of Swords. Now, the King of Swords energy is yet again. It's a, it's a, uh, the king of uh, getting things done, and uh, I won't say it's malicious, but it's definitely not a kind card. It's about using force to make things happen and get things done. Uh, you know, sometimes what you have here, the learning curve today was like as you progressed from the fool. We all start out you know, our year, our day, our, our moment as the fool, and we have to progress, and what, what do we learn? So the fool has progressed to the page of rods here. It's willing to accept some responsibilities and make some things happen. And the sun is guiding our lighting, our path, and guiding our way. But the king of swords is also demanding that we be very serious about some things, and we have two things here then. We have almost a false sense of positivity mixed in with a uh, almost too practical, always handling everything like a mission kind of thing. So these are, I won't say amplifiers of the day, they're showing either side of the situation here. So what I'm really picking up here is carry on today. Carry on, keep on walking forward, but don't be swayed by either being too practical, too you know, uh, righteous and relentless, or being falling back on that foolish, everything is happy and bright, the sun shines in everything I do. So I guess today is really about accepting a slight bit more maturity and a slightly more uh, 
uh, slightly more, not maybe maturity, a little bit more responsibility. Like understand math. One plus one equals two. What you do plus who you are equals what you're going to be. So that's today's simplest format. And uh, these the um, qualifier cards are sort of warning cards that both sides, you know, moderation. Let's sum this up. You're doing good. You're on a good pathway. You're matured. But, you know, have a little bit of moderation on either side. Don't be too hippy-dippy flippant and don't be too neo-Nazi righteous. You know, find the happy middle ground, but use those energies when need be. Sometimes a little bit of harshness will get the job done and sometimes being a little easy, wandering, hippy, foolish thing is, is good as well. You know, neither is right. Either both sides are needed, but they're not exclusive. You know, separate but equal or non-exclusive is about the, the terms of the day. So it's an interesting progress. Kind of good. I think that's a, a lesson to be learned for next year as well. So um, it's, this is progress moving forward. But keep in mind some, some balance is necessary. And it's simple, good, clean read. I enjoyed it. It's not too complicated or dire. I like that. And uh, I'll leave you that with that today. You have a very magical night. And we'll see you again around midnight again for tomorrow's read.